Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem and here we have x plus y equals to 4 and x y equals to 16 and uh, we solve this problem for the values of x and y. So here first we call this is our equation number 1 and we call this is our equation number 2. And now in the next step here first we focus on equation number 1 and from uh, equation number one we have here we move this uh, uh, x to the right hand side and it is written as uh, y equals to 4 minus x and we call this is our equation number three and now in the next step here uh, we need to substitute this value of y in equation number two so here we just write that our equation number two is implies that this is x into y so here our uh, x into the value of y is 4 minus x equals to 16. And now in the next step here we need uh, to simplify this equation. Uh, so here we multiply this x on both of these terms and it is written as 4x minus x square equals to 16. And now you see here, uh, this is the quadratic equation, but not in uh, uh, standard form. So that now here we need to convert this equation into the standard form. So here we move these two terms to the right hand side and it is written as this is negative x square. When we move in the right hand side, it is plus x square. This is plus 4x. When we move in the right hand side, it will become minus 4x and this is plus 16 equals to 0 and now in the next step uh, here uh, this is this will become a quadratic in x variable so that now we use the quadratic formula uh, in order to solve this quadratic equation so here first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to minus 4 and c equals to 16 so this is the uh, coefficients of above equation and we know about the quadratic formula it is written as in this form minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is the our quadratic formula and now here we need to substitute the values of a b and c in this quadratic formula so here you have minus b and the value of b is minus 4 and it is written as minus times of minus 4 plus minus square root of b square. So here our b is minus 4 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 16 and this is divided by 2 times of a and our a is equals to 1 and now in the next step here we need more simplification and you see here this is minus times of minus becomes plus 4 and plus minus square root of minus 4 square equals to 16 and 4 times of 16 equals to 64 and this is divided by 2 times of 1 is 2 so here we just subtract 16 minus 64 and it is equals to so 16 minus 64 equals to minus 48 and it is written as 4 plus minus minus 48 divided by 2. So now here we uh, rewrite this minus uh, square root of 48 and it is written as 4 plus minus square root of we write 48 as 16 times of 3 and here we separate the square root of minus 1 and it is divided by 2. And now after that uh, you see here we have x equals to 4 plus minus. We know that square root of 16 is 4 into square root of 3 and this is square root of minus 1 equals to iota. And here we break this fraction and we write uh, these two in separately on both of these terms so now here uh, we need more simplifications and you get our x equals to 2 plus minus 2 times of uh, square root of 3 iota so this is 2 times of 2 is 4 and this is also 2 times of 2 is 4 
so here we have these two uh, values of x so now corresponding to these two values of x here we need to find the values of y so first we write these two values here so here our x is 2 plus 2 into square root of 3 iota and here we write the negative value it is 2 minus 2 into square root of 3 iota and uh, here uh, we need our equation number 3 so that equation number 3 is implies that uh, y equals to 4 minus x so now we substitute uh, both of these values of x in this equation so first we substitute this value here and we get y equals to 4 minus x and the value of x is 2 plus 2 into square root of 3 iota here we multiply this negative sign on both of these terms and it is written as 4 minus 2 minus 2 into square root of 3 iota so this is 4 minus 2 and it is equals to 2 minus 2 square root of 3 iota so this is the value of y corresponding to the value of x is this one okay so similarly uh, we solve the above equation uh, by using this value of x here and you see that when you substitute this value we get y equals to 4 minus x and x is 2 minus square root of 3 iota so here we need to multiply this negative sign on both of these terms and it is written as minus 2 plus 2 into square root of 3 iota so this is the value of y we need some simplification and you have 4 minus 2 is 2 plus 2 into square root of 3 iota so this is the second value of y uh, which we obtain from corresponding value of x is this one so finally we have uh, two roots of the uh, given equation so the first root is x y equals to 2 plus 2 into square root of 3 iota and the value of y corresponding to this value of x is 2 minus 2 into square root of 3 iota and the second conjugate solution of the uh, this solution is uh, 2 minus 2 times of square root of 3 iota and the value of y is 2 plus 2 times of uh, square root of 3 iota so these are the two solutions of the given equation and now the time to verify these solutions is these solutions are satisfied over given equation or not so here we just uh, write uh, the uh, both equations of uh, the given statement the first equation is x plus y equals to 4 and the second equation is x y equals to 16 so now here we just verify the first solution and I can left the second solution uh, for uh, to you. You can verify the second solution by yourself. So here we substitute these values of x and y here and it is written as in this form. This is x plus y. So our x is 2 plus 2 into square root of 3 iota and the value of y is 2 minus 2 into square root of 3 iota and it is equals to 4. You see here this is negative and positive term are cancelled by each other and we have 2 plus 2 is 4 equals to 4. So this shows that the value of x and y satisfy the first equation and now similarly we check the second equation so here we have x y equals to 16 and now we substitute the value of xy here it is 2 plus 2 into square root of 3 iota and 2 minus 2 into square root of 3 iota equals to 16. So here you see that uh, here we use the nice square identity and we write it as 2 square minus 2 into square root of 3 iota square equals to 16 so 2 square is 4 minus the square of this term becomes 4 into 3 into iota square equals to 16 so here you know we know that iota square is minus 1 so this is becomes plus and 4 times of 3 is 12 equals to 16 so 12 plus 4 is 16 equals to 16 so this shows that uh, the value of x y also satisfy the second solution so this is the final answer and thank you so much
for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos